Welcome to Attican Plays Railway Empire. All right, hi, this is Attican, and welcome to our fourth installment of the Transport Revolution scenario, which was included in the Great Britain and Ireland DLC. So in our last episode, we uh, made a lot of tweed out of Manchester, and we shipped a lot of freight all over the place. So we started out with a three-city cluster, Liverpool, Manchester, Leeds, and in our last episode, we also added this nice two-city cluster down here between Wrexham and Birmingham. And it's growing beautifully and is nicely set up. We'll, we'll maybe run some logs in there a little later, but otherwise it is good to go for quite a while. And we'll keep an eye on it to make sure we get the right industries in each of the cities. And then if we look down here to um, our south, we finally worked our way down to have access to London. And now we're at the point where our task is to grow London a lot, from 20,000 to 100,000. And what we're going to do uh, to accomplish that is use a two-city cluster with a pass-through warehouse. So we're going to have Oxford and London have a nice little symbiotic relationship and help one another grow. We've got ham and cider. We're going to have an, a warehouse that, ought, that can pick up logs and apples, which is great for our cider business. And then we will throw in about four more items. We're going to throw in, well, let's just uh, set it up here. We will throw in barley and fish, of course, apples, and beef and logs and potatoes. That sounds good. Okay. And we're, I'm trying to now set maintenance on everything as I build it. So let's just see if I did that down here. And down here. Okay, so what we want to do first off, we know we've got two goods, so we can go ahead and set up our city to city and our pass through lines, and they will have some work to do, and then we'll, we'll continue to load right after we get that going. So let's start out first by connecting into the warehouse like so. And like so, coming out of London. And then the same thing over here. And we will need a supply tower. For now, we just need one because the trains can pick it up on either way, either side of the, of the pass. So let's go, first of all, let's set up our line between, city to city line between London and Oxford. speed this up a little bit and we can put another one on there oh you know what I forgot I think I forgot to put signals on this one A brilliant move and we need a supply tower for this line okay there we go now our second one can take off And a third one, and if they're going to run up there, we're going to we're going to swap them up here. Okay, so now what we what we need to do? They're actually seeing the quickest path is through this. We do not want all that traffic going into our warehouse. So what we're going to have to do with these is say, okay, let's slow back down. Look how quickly our money's racking up. This is good. We're in good shape here. All right. So what we want to do is set a way path. So when or a uh, waypoint. So when you come out of London, we want you to to go to there. And when you come out of Oxford, we want you to go meet in Brighton. Go like that. And what is the deal here? Why? 
I don't understand why it would ever go. Let's try this again. You go to London. London to Oxford. When you're in London, you come out on that track. From here, you come out on that track. Something's wrong. Something's missing. Let me check my signals. Ah, that would do it. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Got the signals going backwards on this line. The easiest way to fix that, frankly, is just to delete it and start over. Whenever the whenever you see something weird like that, when, when it just will not cooperate, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to delete the other side of it too because of that tower. Okay, when you see something like that where, the, where it just will not give you what you want and you know you're doing it right, uh, there's, you know, <laughs> to, <laughs> to state the obvious, there's something wrong. And in our case here, I had my signals, both sets of signals running in the same direction rather stupidly. And let's see if we can, can't fix that. Spin that around, go that way. And go that way. Now let's see what they think of this line. Okay, you, they may just naturally take it now. Yeah, see, I think they're going to just naturally take it now because now it's the shorter, more direct route. Plus, the, uh, the uh, route optimizer will automatically skip any station that is not needed. And, that, and for, the, for the sake of these uh, trains, that warehouse is not necessary. So there we go. It's also, it seems to me, it's the shorter route anyway. All right, so that gives us our city to city. Now we need our pass through. So we need to go here. We need to go London to warehouse to Oxford to warehouse. Hold on. Nope, nope, nope. We don't want you carrying. We want you to carry freight only. Two. Two. <laughs> There we go. Three. And we'll run four for now. Okay. Look at our money really racking up. All right. We've got to keep spending that money because we have to have a, uh, we want a, the strongest economic engine going we can possibly come up with. All right. But we want to, of course, first keep our focus down here. So we've got to get uh, pigs into Oxford and we've got to get, uh, well, we already got our, apples going into London. So we want to get fish in there. We want to get uh, wheat probably from up here. Beef right there, nice and handy. And we want to do pigs. And my, oh, here we go. These pigs right here will probably be our best shot. So yeah, let's get the pigs going. And let's not build another bridge. Let's just join in up here. Oh, uh, and you know what? Shucks. Need to start over on that because what we don't have is this second line here. I want to go ahead and build this second line. Uh, but there's a bridge in the way. Of course there is. Have to get off that bridge. Then we can come back.
Okay, so now but Birmingham to Oxford, we can actually run. Let's just run a <laughs> let's run a passenger mail line from Oxford and to um, Birmingham, and we want it to actually. We want to run it over here because our, most of our freight's going to be over here. So this is going to be our passenger line. So out of Oxford, take this one. Out of Birmingham, take that one. Beautiful. And run passengers and mail only. Oh, maybe if we gave it a locomotive, it would do better. And maybe we can get out here and get this Firefly later and, and update it. Let's give it another one. And another. And one more once it passes that beef right there. And another. Okay. Beautiful. All right. So, where were we? We were building our pig line. <laughs> All right. So, we're going to come down here. We're going to merge into... Merge into the freight side of this track. And come on down like so. Go straight into Oxford. One, two, let's give it three trains. And let's see. Bop, bop, we need to get. Uh, so now we've got our ham and cider going. We've got some extra logs we don't really need yet. Now we're going to go get fish and wheat and get them into that warehouse. Here comes fish. Now we'll go up here and grab wheat. Three and how long a line? Yeah, let's give it one more. Okay, there's wheat. I'm sorry, barley. Barley, forgive me. So we've got uh, one, two, three, four items. Let's get our beef.
That's too quick. Let's do old school. We'll bump, we'll merge, scoot over, and then we'll bring our other line down up against it like so, and then merge in as soon as it will let us. There we go. Actually wanted it to go to the warehouse. Oh. All right, stop a second. I wonder if it's worth it. Now we don't really, we don't really need a bypass yet. We may need one, but let's just clean all this up. Let's get rid of what we just put in. And let's run down like this. We we can still run. We can still hook up with that supply tower, but let's run down like this and go straight in like so. Much better. It's a short line. We'll just run two trains. Okay, so now we've got ham cider. We've got apples and pigs. We've got wheat and fish and logs and oh, what are we missing? Potatoes. We can run potatoes from so anything close by. Sorry, just looking around. Okay, we've got one up here, and we've got the one we're already using here. Actually, this one looks like it's easier. So we're going to run potatoes. down here like this and hook into this line. Okay, give it three trains, it's a fairly long line. And now we've got 
all six goods in the um, coming to the warehouse. We've got our pass through. We've got our city to city. So we should start seeing growth in London and Oxford very, very shortly. As soon as that barley and fish uh, get to the warehouse, basically. And here comes some stuff right now. So let's just run it and see how it goes here. And what else are we supposed to be doing? That's our focus right now, growing, growing London. There we go, we're seeing growth now as it got some fish. Still doesn't have barley, but it'll get that momentarily and should, should hit like that 99% growth and uh, be in great shape. Oh, these employees are, are oh, man, they're so much fun. Conductors, we can use conductors now. We can use conductors on this line we've got right over here. Let's give them a conductor and an engineer. And a guard. Let's give them a stoker as well. Got an engineer not doing anything. Get to work. Meet in Leeds. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'll take that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Beautiful. That we wanted. We wanted the meet in Leeds. But not just yet. <laughs> we'll have a use for it in a moment. All right, so we've got... Uh, our two city cluster is growing. Our three city cluster has stalled a bit. Let's see why. Oh, we got a third industry here too. Oh man, oh man. We could use another. I wonder if we can pick up that salt. Let's see if we can pick up that salt with a supply, with a warehouse. If we can, oh yeah, easily. Beautiful. All right, so what we're gonna do here is pick up the salt from Manchester and then run milk in there from, from right up there above at the top of our screen and put a dairy industry in Manchester and that should do great. So, Dairy, dairy, dairy. Put a dairy over here. And slow down. And You're going to take milk and you're going to take and uh, we're not ready for salt yet you'll take salt when the time comes and we'll set up a line 
between our dairy, our cattle farm, and our warehouse. Now our other cities would probably like to have some milk too. I mentioned lately how much I love bridges. That should not be hitting that. That's not right. We're coming out the opposite side, and it's telling us we're... Well, no, no, I'm sorry, it isn't. It's just telling us where those are. It's not necessarily conflicting. Oh, that's... Oh, come on. There's no industry over here. Well, we'll just wait. We'll wait. We'll wait to give Leeds milk. I have something in mind. Once, if we if we get opened up here, then there's something something will change. But we'll wait till then. Uh, let's just see. Make sure. All right, we should be 99 percent. There we go. That's more like it. And Oxford should be the same. 99 percent. Very good. All right, we're growing them as fast as we can grow them. And we've got everything run in there. So all we have to do to get London to grow and Oxford is to watch the industries and make sure we put the right industries down in here. We're going to want probably, oh, uh, can we get wool anywhere? There's wool right near London. It, we may have to just let it come overland and put a uh, tweed in here and then later on hook in the actual line. That's probably the best idea. Put in tweed here, and then we'll put a clothing over here, and then we'll go lumber-based um, for the next one or two, and we will be in great shape. So Manchester continues to grow at 109,000. Leeds, oh, come on, man, put a, get your museum. Get a museum in Leeds, that will help. I think we already put one in Liverpool. We did, but Liverpool, it's not getting enough tweed. That's a bit of a mystery. Let's see what's going on here. Our weaving factory just isn't big enough. 3.2. Let's just uh, let's uh, optimize this. We got it can produce 3.2. Liverpool itself, between the uh, its own use and the factory, needs 1.6. So it needs half of it. And Manchester needs. 1.1s because it's a big city, so that's 2.7. And then we've got Leeds needs 0.8. That's three point. We need three and a half just for those three cities, and we're only producing 3.2. So let's bump it up one more time. It's ours. We make money on it. Let's make more money and keep these uh, cities growing. There we go. Now that should help Liverpool to grow as well. The tailor needs needs to be satisfied in order for Liverpool to grow. And it's not getting wheat, we know that, and let's fix that. Let's fix that, stop. 
we've grown this three city cluster with, uh, I keep saying we, without uh, barley. So here's barley. And remember we couldn't get to it when we first started this uh, scenario, but now we can. So we can run a line into our warehouse, tell our warehouse to accept barley. And then, oh, and you know what? I'm gonna do my cleanup I threatened to do. We're going to clean this up. We're gonna make this a, a better, slow down, a better design. Oh, I deleted that way farther back than I meant to. Okay, so now we've got two, one, two, should come into, okay, so, stop, this one should come into that one, this one to that one, This one to there. And this one to there. There we go. Much better. Now all those should be able to work. Now, I am not sure what the problem is here. We'll figure it out. Liverpool, this is our pass-through lane. Okay. And for whatever reason, it doesn't like it. Okay. Probably because we've got it going. Uh, let's see. Let's see what lane it comes out of here. It, it's running out of, it needs to be actually, our pass-throughs need to run. No, that's, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong trains. Liverpool to the warehouse. What's your route look like? Come down here, go in there, pass over there. I don't see any problem with that at all. I'll tell you what we're going to do. stop all right oh I may regret this uh, let's see I'd like to do the same thing on this side I'm a glutton for punishment is this a pass-through train no it is not
right, we need a couple more passenger trains now. Liverpool, Manchester, Leeds. <laughs> no, 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 no. Liverpool, warehouse, lead, Leeds, warehouse. Good. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that should straighten everything out. And we should have a much cleaner flow in here once these things settle in. Increase the power. We'll take that. Let's go check on our... Uh, that, that isn't growing up. That needs to be addressed. Um, London is still at 99 and almost ready to hit 40, so we'll watch that and get that tweed business in there. 99, good. Wrexham is growing great and ready for a museum. Excellent. Now, what did they put in there? A meat. God bless. Private owner put the meat back in there. Uh, well, that's okay. We can take it right back out. Um, Okay, what we're going to do here is run logs directly into um, Birmingham. And we'll just do it out of here. This one I put on the wrong starting track, but we can change it now. There we go. build that or sorry buy that while it's cheap before that lumber gets there and it's making money we 
bump it up one. And then I'm going to buy... <sighs> yeah, I'm going to buy this meat industry. It's a little pricey, but should have been watching. And speaking of watching, I need to go back to London and get that business in London. Unless I like what goes in there. That would be okay. So this one's going to get torn down. And we're going to replace it with a weaver. And that means we need to run this um, wool. directly into Wrexham. And let's see how we're doing. Okay, now Birmingham is growing nicely. Wrexham has grown again up to 90,000. We can put a new industry. We can put a tailor in Birmingham or Wrexham and it can consume our weavers output. Beautiful. Birmingham's growing and back to London, London, London. Ah, they already put a, okay, that's fine. They put a lumber mill, which is a good choice, a very good choice. And now we can do Oxford. Mm. You know what? Since we've got this, um, yeah, let's just do something uh, mildly crazy. We can run wool down here, actually run it through Birmingham and into Oxford. And we'll run it through Birmingham and tell it to get over here on this on the freight side. That'll be nice. Okay. Is that a tailor? So we're gonna put a um, weaving industry as soon as we have enough money. We're going to put a weaving industry in Oxford. Oxford. Okay. And then we're going to go here to our latest and greatest station. Expand it. And I'm actually going to run a separate set of tracks down here to give it kind of its own exit path, if you will. bridge is coming up too soon and we're going to have to run this line and that's okay we're going to run this line have to make another bridge and bring it in like so okay now the reason I did that is so when this one is waiting to go into a warehouse it's going to be full and I don't want to back up to keep the wool from being able to be taken directly into the city of Oxford. So this new track we just set up, of course, is to go to Oxford. So we will go boom and boom. Do our Jan Jansen thing. And I think that'll work. Let's just see. We got from track two, run full. And go directly into Oxford, and it looks like it's taken exactly the right path. 
Now I'm running it through that um, Birmingham station and I wouldn't even think about doing that if that wasn't a super station, but it should work just fine. And we're not overloading that, that station anyway in Birmingham. All right, slow down. Okay, we're still getting terrific growth. We've got, uh, we're going to be making Tweed in Oxford. Oxford Tweed, no less. I think that is a, a uh, Oxford, isn't that a style or a fashion in some way? Somebody help me out there. Somebody who knows that stuff better than I do, which is virtually anybody. All right, looking good, looking good. Let's see here, we're up to halfway there, and we're in 1835. Love to get it done uh, real, real fast, real, real fast. Connection bonus for cement. Do they need cement? They do, they're getting it, but we could get a bonus. But where could we send it? <laughs> I guess we could just, yeah. We could run one train of cement. Nice paycheck for doing that, for making more money. And I see one flaw in that design. Don't have a supply tower, we'll have to fix that somehow. We're only going to run one train, but that train is still going to need supplies. And everything's too... Eh, we can put one right there. Alright, if we put a tower right there... Uh, we will see. It's possible. I think we're okay on that, but we'll see. We'll see. All right, so now we've got cement going into our warehouse. We got a nice bonus. We'll make some more money on that. We've got London heading towards 60, which is which will give us the museum opportunity. And another conductor. A spy. Beatrix, a spy for Don Lorenzo. We don't need money, although we don't wouldn't mind making more money. So let's get some more passengers and stop right there. Let's take this one little passenger line we got. Look at the great money it's making. And can we put? And yeah, we don't have any rail cars available yet. All right. Give him an engineer. Give him a stoker. And give him a security guard. Okay. You guys should be rocking and rolling. And I've still got more to assign. Four engineers. Alright, 
the connection bonus. All right. Well, here's the other thing I wanted to do. If we've got, um, we're doing all we can do to grow here. Why don't we set up another little cluster? We can do a two, a three, a four, or whatever meets our fancy. Meet. One we have we haven't done anything really with hull except let it kind of sit out there on the end. We could easily set up a pass through. Uh, we could do a pass through warehouse right in here. Pick up probably two goods, move them to hull and to Peterborough, and grow those two cities very nicely. Let's see if that is going to work. Yeah, yep, yeah. yeah. How nice is that? And then, I think I'm just going to leave this alone and we'll go put in a super station in Hull. Move it back a little bit. Then we'll put a super station, if it'll let me, in Peterborough. It might not. Yeah, it did. Good deal. All right. So now we're going to run our line. All right. So this one's getting a little bit long. So let's cut it off right there. And we'll take this back up in part five and continue building out this two city cluster, Peterborough to Hull. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it'll help you become a better player. And I hope you'll join us for our next Railway Empire video. Thank you.